Hi everyone, Melissa with Paper Fairy Tales here. I'm back to share my latest project. This will be up for sale in my Etsy shop. Um, the papers I used in this collection were the Marion Smith Junk Gypsy, and I followed Shelly Geigel's suitcase tutorial loosely here on um, YouTube. I will link her in the description box. Please check out her tutorial. She does a really good job and the, the albums always come together so easily. Uh, so this is my take on that tutorial. Uh, some of the other products I used uh, I will mention as I go through here. Uh, most of it was just things I had in my stash. So to start with the front, sorry about that, there was somebody at the door I had to uh, pause it so the dogs didn't blow out your eardrums. But anyway, um, to start with the front here, I left this blank. Whoever gets this can write in a title or I will put the option in the Etsy store to add a title. This here is a Spellbinders Nestabilities die that I used. I don't remember the number. Uh, here I've got some filigrees from a couple pendant charms I got in the jewelry section at Joann's, I believe. They've been in my stash for a long time. They were actually connected to these on top, <clears throat> and I actually just split them together. And then I stuck some flat back pearls on top. Those are some Bow Bunny jewels. I've got some bling trim here that I had in my stash. These straps here on the front and also on the top are made from leather strips that I got at Hobby Lobby. The buckles here are Tim Holtz. And then in this album throughout, the different trims that I used were just bulk trim that I purchased either at Joann's or Hobby Lobby or some that I've gotten in some when I used to get scrapbook kits. So on the top here, this again is some trim that I just cut. And this is the other part of the filigrees. They've got some brownish toned jewels there in the flowers. And then to mark the end of my straps, I just cut some other pieces of leather and attached these with long fasteners and, um, oh shoot, what are these called? Washers from Tim Holtz. Then on the back, I left it pretty much plain, just some small trim from my stash. This is actually paper layered on top from the collection as well as this. All the papers I used in this album are all Junk Gypsy. I did not supplement it. I used an entire pack and then some sheets, probably about mm, two to four sheets from another package of the same paper collection. Um, as far as cardstock, it's all heavy duty crafty that I bought at uh, Hobby Lobby. So, and then on the bottom here, this is some of the old Prima specialty papers. It's kind of like a fiber that I just put on the bottom there. So let's go inside. This is how it looks on the sides. And on Shelly's tutorial, she did add a bow and some other things here, but I, I left the bow off. Um, I, I wanted this to be kind of soft and feminine, but it's also kind of rustic or with the junk gypsy. So there's some leathers and some darker colors in here, so I didn't want to overly uh, embellish it. So let's get into the album here. Oops. And you can pull on these pretty rough and they don't, uh, it doesn't come off or tear. So now I'm going to flip this over here and this is the inside. Um, I'll start with the first page here. This is just a pocket page. These are a um, Spellbinders die, one of their edge, one of their edge uh, collections. There's like seven different dies in it. Uh, this is a butterfly that I added some Wink Estella that's from the cut out from the paper collection. I had some old case Kane Company um, bird stickers. Uh, they're three dimensional that I added in a couple places in here. So that's one of those. And this is also K and Company uh, three dimensional stickers, and I thought it went really well with this paper collection. Up here again, just some trim from my stash and more of the bling. Uh, I will tell you this bling comes in like a sheet. I got it in a sheet about like this and I just cut individual rows off and put it throughout the album. 
So then you've got this cut out here, <clears throat> or paper mat, I'm sorry, photo mat. I didn't put any papers on the back. I didn't want it to get too bulky um, after putting photos in it. I didn't want it to be too thick. So I wanted to leave the backs open either for journaling or for photos. And I just put the pattern paper on the tops of these. Then on the top of this one, I just added a strip of the bling. And then there's just a plain background here. On this page, we got a couple foldouts. Uh, first one, I left this plain because I really like the image here. Forget me not is what it says up here, but just the birds, I thought it was very pretty. So I didn't add anything to that page. But you flip this open, and there is a small pocket here with some bling and some lace. This is a Martha Stewart punch that I used here throughout the in different places in the album. These tags here you will see, I've got a few of them in here. They are American Crafts do-it-yourself tags and they are the newspaper, uh oh they are the newspaper um, tags. There was 12 of them and these are actually all white and I left the backs blank for journaling and to make it fit more with the theme of the album, the grunginess, um, I just took some vintage photo distress ink and went around the edges. I apologize if you hear that that's my dogs running around I've got hardwood floors and then I got a smaller tag here again I left it plain on the back and added one more of the dimensional uh, bird stickers I cut all the flowers and stuff off from around it and just used the the bird I thought it, it was the same kind of bird goldfinch as was on the background of this paper so those just slide back in there and then over here, I left this plain. I just added some lace that I colored with some color blooms. Uh, this is white lace, but I took and colored it with tea stain, I believe, Prima color blooms. And this does have a pocket. I just used a bow bunny jewel here, kind of as a pull, and left this plain again. That just slides in there. And then this opens again. We got another pocket. I love that rose and then there's a couple of these butterflies in here as well those are more K and Company three-dimensional stickers all these three-dimensional stickers from K and Company I've had in my stash for a really long time so I don't know if you can still get them or not I think when I originally purchased them I got them at Joann's uh, we got a pocket here with some bling and more of the Martha Stewart trim punch and this is just a big pocket. I left the background. You could put some notes here or more photos and then just a couple small photo mats here. And these pockets are big enough to fit more than what I have in here. Um, as you can see, they, they, they are pretty deep. So you can put more than what I've got in here. Okay, on the next page, this is a Spellbinders die. It's approximately five by seven, I believe. Um, she actually uses this in her tutorial, and I just loved how it looked. I thought it looked really pretty. Um, I just added some bling to the top and bottom and left this open where you could cut out a photo and put in there or do some journaling. And I just decorated the back with some of the uh, images from the paper collection. These stickers are some ones that I just got at Hobby Lobby. I think I showed in one of my recent haul videos. I just put those down on some craft card stock and fussy cut around them and then adhered them here. The bird cage is from the paper collection and I did put it on some three-dimensional uh, tape. Then here, more of those stickers that I just put again on some um, card stock and layered those down and glued them down here. Um, again, I've left all the pockets on the background plain for photo. You could put probably close to a four, almost a four by six here, and then there's another photo mat here. On this side, more of those stickers from Hobby Lobby, and this is cut out from the paper collection, and I just layered it on some cardstock to kind of. Uh, bring it out from the paper and a little bit of lace here and more of the bling. Another one of the do-it-yourself American craft tags here and I also have a, a big photo mat here. Oops, let me close this. Okay, on this page I have a suspended pocket. Um, Shelly does a lot of these in her albums and I think they're really neat. It gives a little bit different 
uh, way to add any kind of tags. I didn't add any tags on this one, but as you can see, you can put stuff in here and it's not going to come out. So, and I loved the roses in this paper collection. I love the orange and pinks. And I will tell you, I apologize for the lighting. It's been gloomy for the past two or three days and I just gave up waiting <laughs> to uh, video this but um, this is one of the stickers from Hobby Lobby another one of the three dimensional butterflies this is actually a butterfly that I cut out from the paper collection and then I just took some crackle accents and uh, put on top of that and then the sentiment at the top is from the paper collection and another three dimensional uh, little bee from K, K and Company. These are just some Prima flowers that I had in my stash that I layered or made a little a small cluster there. I didn't want to cover up all the roses on that page. Okay, <clears throat> on this page we've got some more trim and bling at the top. This is actually um, kind of like a faux pocket if you will. It opens up. These are more Prima flowers and I believe these are all these ones here are from um, Cigar Box Secrets I think it's called and then a flat back pearl here just as a pull and this is magnetized so this will stay closed for you and it opens up here where you could put a photo or maybe add a card with some journaling this flips open down here you've got another place for a photo this again I left plain and I forgot <clears throat> a tag I need to make a tag for this but I cut into the the pattern paper here to create a placeholder for a tag so you could stick a small tag in here and it's actually opened up more I do believe yeah but you can fit a small tag right in here in fact I might go back and stick one of these um, one of these in here see you can fit one in there and that's a good way to place hold uh, some journaling um, I will tell you when you do this if you're going to do this and make this functional, I do suggest that you, if you don't like the finish on top, to do it underneath, but put some multi mat on this. And what it does is it gives the paper some extra integrity so that it doesn't tear or wear too bad whenever, you know, from pulling tags in and out. So I'll have to remember to add a tag there. Uh, but then this flips open again, and you have a small decorative uh, fold out here and it folds out again and I left like I said I left a lot of these flaps blank without any kind of embellishments because I want to make as much room as possible for photos then there's a free floating uh, photo mat in here this one is quite large this one measures let me see here this one measures about five and a half by seven and a half so you could fit a five by seven photo uh, and still have a border on that photo mat and then again the back is blank now these pages are all eight by six so you could fit a really nice size photo on this page if you wanted to so let's close this back up oops okay for our next page these are a bunch of individual stickers that I just kind of stuck down on top of each other. I've had these for a very long time. They were from Glitz Design. And, um, I don't know how many of you are familiar with that, but they were in business back a few years ago, and they have since closed up. But I, these roses went along perfect, and they got some embellishments added on the stickers themselves. So I thought they went really well right there, and it just kind of broke up the monotony of the pocket. And then the heart stickers were, I believe, Heidi Swap. They came with uh, some words. There was like, hello, memories, remember. And then they had a bunch of these hearts and a bunch of stars. And I just stuck three of the hearts down there. Okay, on this page over here, this is another Spellbinders die. And this is a new die for me. It's the first time I've used it. Um, it actually is inside the five by this die here so you get this one and this one in the same package um, again I just cut out <clears throat> a, a butterfly from the paper collection and um, covered it with some Wink Estella if you can see the shimmer there and then I had some old Prima say it and pearls bling <clears throat> in my stash that I just cut up into different pieces and embellished the pocket um, in here we've got two photo mats or this is a good journaling card or even a bookmark. So, stick those back in there. 
On the next page here, it's just another pocket page, another one of the three-dimensional stickers. And this is the rest of that Prima Bling here. I just broke it up and added it here. This is a sentiment that I use. This one is from Authentique, their petite words and phrases. It says, keep your face toward the sunshine. And then I just put two flatback pearls on either side of that. In here, I used another Bow Bunny jewel as a pull and just made a simple photo mat to go in there. On this page, we have a couple more fold outs. I've taken some bling and lace on the bottom and embellished the bottom of this. I left this uh, plain because I like the saying, living for today, the heart of a gypsy. And that just opens up. And there is a small pocket over here that I put some bling and lace on. And these are some old October afternoon stickers. They, there's a bunch of different um, style labels and uh, like stamp stickers. And I just put that there. You, somebody could write a date or a name or place. And then I just put one of those tags um, inside here. This fold out is plain, left plain for a photo, and I added one of the three dimensional butterflies, more lace and bling here at the bottom. And then I have a, a shallow pocket over here that I use one of my uh, dies on to create the border, decorative border, and then this is a Webster's Pages uh, sentiment sticker. It says, Life is a Voyage. And then I just put a small um, photo mat in there. Again, I left this blank um, so it wouldn't get too bulky. You can put a couple 4x6 photos here or maybe a 5x7. I did put some Wink of Stella on this butterfly here just as some added interest. And I also added another one of the Authentique uh, Petite Word stickers. It says, always keep your face toward the sunshine. Okay. On the next page... I just did some Wink of Stella on those butterflies. Um, <clears throat> this has been left plain so that there was room for more of the bulky um, embellishments on this page. So this could be left blank, it could be used to journal, or it could, you know, hold photos. On here we do have a pocket page, and I have had some of this cork um, paper. I don't remember who makes it, um, but I've had four or five sheets of it in my stash for a really long time that I bought at an old um, scrapbook supply store that's not even in business anymore but um, I, I stuck it down it is sticky on the back so I peeled the stuff off and I stuck it down to a piece of cardstock so that to give the pocket a little bit more integrity um, but I like the look of the cork I thought it gave it went along with the gypsy I don't know if you can really see it there maybe a little bit and then this is just some lace I had in my stash. Um, it's got some cabbage style roses on here in the lace, which I thought went really good with the papers. Um, and I just added some flat back pearls to the centers. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see, but it's on the centers of all of them. And then these is this is some more Prima flowers. This is from the cigar box, and these two are from an older collection that I'm not sure what the name of it was. More bling here at the top. <clears throat> Excuse me. And these two stickers here are more of those rose stickers that I've had from the Glitz design. They came on this sheet. And then in there, in the pocket, I've just included a photo mat. Um, this is more of the Bow Bunny jewels that I just stuck there on the edge for a pull and just to kind of break it up a little bit. So... For our last couple pages, and this is one of my favorites, um, we cre I created a band here, and what I did is I took some uh, card stock, some craft card stock, and layered this box trim on top, and I glued it the whole way because box trim tends to flare up on the outsides here. So when I was gluing it, I just glued it down with hot glue and kind of pushed so that the glue would kind of spread out, and it did flatten that fairly well. And then I went back over it with the, the uh, bling to, co to cover up the uh, seam of the ribbon and also to give it some added. It almost reminds me of a garter belt. And then this is a Recollections flower I had in my stash, and these are two Prima trinkets, vintage trinkets. This locket does open. does open you could th put something in there if you really wanted to but it does give the uh, band some oomph if you will to be able to you know you can pull that 
and it's not going to come up. Um, and then I've just thrown in a couple photo mats or a photo mat and then another one of those um, tags. On this last page here, it does have a fold out. Again, I've left this plain. I figured this would be a good page for journaling because it's got the lines on it. Uh, but the flowers complemented the photo mat on this side. So I just added some uh, lace trim, some bling. And then this flips open and there's another smaller pocket. I've used another one of the October afternoon stickers and then put in a cutout from the paper collection and another one of the tags. And then the bottom here has just been left plain uh, for photos. Okay, now on the top of the suitcase here, I've taken, let's see if I can if I can tilt this a little bit so you can see this better. This is a heavy book. <laughs> um, I've created a pocket here with a Martha Stewart punch and another one of the three-dimensional butterflies. Those butterflies are so beautiful and I used the last of them in this um, album and I'm hoping that I can go back and find them but in any case there is a pocket inside and I have just threw in one of the newspaper tags and then the only thing I did up here is I just took some trim I apologize my dogs are going crazy today but I just took some trim and layered it this is some Tresor's deluxe trim and then this is just some uh, rose rosette trim that I've had in my stash and I stuck pearls flatback pearls on the inside of each one of those so that is my album I hope you enjoyed it. I know I really enjoyed creating it. Shelly's tutorials are all a lot of fun. Always a lot of fun. They're very easy to follow. It's not a lot of guesswork. I mean, she does create everything for you. Or, you know, she gives you all your measurements and how to uh, create the album. So check her out here on YouTube. And um, most of her tutorials, if not all, I believe all actually, she has a list of supplies on her website. So if you go to J shobbiesandcrafts.com you can pull up the supply list and also for her tutorials she carries all the products that she uses so if you're the kind of person that likes to follow a tutorial um, to a T as far as papers and embellishments um, visit her website and you can get the supply list and order the actual products um, directly from her website and I will tell you um, I have ordered from the website and they are very um, quick their delivery is usually priority two to three days and she lives in Washington their store is in Washington State and I live in Alabama and I get my packages within two days so if you are really itching to get the tutorial done and want the supplies quickly she does um, accommodate you that way so thanks for watching and we will see you later